Now we'll be talking about the luteal phase of the whole ovulation menstrual cycle. The luteal phase happens after the ovulation phase, which really is part of the follicular phase. So when you have the luteal phase, it's the same for all women. It lasts approximately 14 days and doesn't really change. Now in the other phase where estrogen was increasing, now we have a different hormone in this cycle that's kind of increasing. So you have in this part, estrogen's actually decreasing and you have progesterone hormone, which is increasing. Now the progesterone hormone has a different role than what estrogen did. So progesterone here is really to kind of grow and thicken that inner uterine lining. And the reason being is that's kind of what you want to be the wonderful nutrient home so that if the egg actually does get fertilized and become an embryo, it can actually find a nice lovely home and implant inside the uterine lining. Now with that being said, <laughs> progesterone is also the hormone that can cause women to have those PMS symptoms or premenstrual symptoms. So women may notice they have more mood swings or more acne or more bloating, things like that. So this will kind of, if you have those symptoms, you'll be aware that you're in this part of your cycle. Now with that being said, there's two ways this can go. If the egg does get fertilized and become an embryo and implants in the uterine lining, now what happens is there's a component of the embryo that will actually start releasing another hormone and it's called HCG, which is the short term. The very long term of that is human chorionic gonadotropin. This hormone is actually the hormone that gets tested in pregnancy kits. Whether or not you take a pregnancy kit test in the office or at home, that's actually what's being tested. And so you can actually test for this hormone about two weeks after your ovulation window, or probably a better way to look at it would be five weeks from the first day of your period. And that way you can know the right time to take a pregnancy test. Now, if the egg doesn't get fertilized and doesn't become an embryo, well then another change is gonna happen. Your uterus is gonna get a signal that there is no embryo, and then progesterone levels, which were kind of on the rise, are now gonna to start to decrease. And what that's gonna do is that lining that the progesterone was making really thick and kind of growing that lining is now gonna to signal to the uterus that it's gonna get time to shed it. And that's when people notice, or women notice that they have their menses or menstrual part of their cycle. When women have menstrual cycles, the normal range for a menstrual cycle is anywhere from 24 to 35 days. Most women tend to have 28 day cycles or 30 day cycles, but it can be normal in the 24 to 35 day range. And this can help you understand that you're probably having a cycle where ovulation is occurring. If you're having more cycles that fall out of that range, more like 21 days or 36, 38 days, it could be an indication that you're not actually ovulating. So if this is occurring, you might wanna contact your provider and then get further evaluation done to see if you are actually ovulating or not.